working to address gun violence in Philadelphia. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Philadelphia City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Jill. We've talked in the past about the problems associated with gun violence in the city of Philadelphia, and you've said that it's a public health issue, but now yes. community members have come forward and you've joined forces to create a task force. Talk to us a little bit about the beginnings of this idea. Yeah, well, Joe, starting off this new year, we've seen a rash of shootings and murders in the city of Philadelphia that is surpassing the rate that we've had last year. And so um, throughout my district, some neighbors stepped up and asked if I would get involved and organize a community rally as well as a safety walk through the neighborhood to show a united front to address the issue of youth gun violence. And out of that rally and safety walk, we established a Youth Neighborhood Gun Violence Task Force. Now, let's talk about the task force itself. Mm -hmm. You're bringing together a variety of different entities, yes. but who's involved? Well, we're going to be partnering with the Philadelphia Police Department as well as the District Attorney's Office. But more importantly, we will be working with more than 20 neighborhood organizations and social service organizations to address the issue of youth gun violence. And you say it's important not to just have the police and the DA involved, but to also have these community organizations and nonprofit organizations who really know what's happening in neighborhoods. Yes, yeah. Well, it's important to get the community involved because it's going to take a c collective effort of everyone to roll up their sleeves and get involved in addressing the issue of youth gun violence. And so I'm honored to be partnering with the Philadelphia Police Department as well as the District Attorney office, but more importantly to have the community involved will have a major difference in reducing youth gun violence. And you've just kicked off this task force. Yes. What happens as part of the discussion when you bring all of these entities together? Yes. Well, during our first meeting we had a brainstorming, brainstorming session. How can we look at new, new and innovative ways in addressing the issue of youth gun violence? Obviously we're not going to lock our, our way out of this situation and so we want to look at issues of parenting. We want to look at issues of job training and development for our young people. We want to look at how do we address the issue of ex-offenders and, and making sure that they don't pick up a, a gun and hurt someone when they return to society. And so those are just some of the preliminary ideas that came up, but overall we want to make sure that it's community driven, the community is involved, and more importantly, the more of the community members that step up, the more we can have a greater impact on reducing youth gun violence. And part of the discussion, you say, is uh, tools for parents, getting parents yes. involved in, in kids' futures, but also utilizing things like the healthcare system, existing yes. structures that are already around us. Yes, that's correct. Listen, we, are also, we also use the task force as a way to, to pull resources together. There are a lot of different resources that community members aren't taking advantage of, and so when we have these meetings, we have various social service agencies from the city, from the state, and the federal level, but also different city agencies will come and provide that information so neighbors can know if you're looking for a job or, or a young person want to get a GED, anything that will keep them on a positive track as opposed to getting involved in something that's negative, we use this task force as that forum to address those types of issues. So really focusing on existing resources yes. and best utilizing yes, them. Yes, that's correct. And more importantly, I mean, it's said often, but it does take a village. The more people that steps up and look out for the, for the young person that need a mentor, look out for the young person that needs some guidance so they can stay on the right path, we will be using this task force as a tool and also a vehicle to address just those issues. This has just started, this task force. Yes. You've just kicked it off, but yes. you're already expanding. Yes, we're going to be going out to the southwest um, part of my district, and, and, and it's unfortunate that we have to go out there because we had to address a back-to-back -back double homicide. And, and we had to, when we did a rally on MLK Day where we talked to, to both of the parents who had lost their sons to gun violence, and so um, we will be extending, unfortunately, but hopefully it will galvanize the community to step up, get involved, and we can all address this issue of gun violence collectively. Come back, give us an update. Let us know how this is working out. Yes, I'll make sure I will. Thank you. Thank you, We've Jill. been talking with Philadelphia City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.